but she stood up and did like next to him.
Shetty received his bachelor's degree from Harvard University in 2000 and his PhD in 2003. He was a professor at the University of California at Berkeley until 2009 and returned to Harvard as one of the youngest professors in Harvard's history. He has received numerous awards for his research, including the MacArthur Foundation Fellowship and the American Economic Association's John Bates Clark Medal. Given to the economists, under 40, his work is just to have made the most significant contribution to the field. He is a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and a member of the National Academy of Sciences. Dr. Shetty, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Sciences and Honors in Congratulations. Santos, will you please come forward and join me at the podium? This is the director of the U.S. Census Bureau. Prior to his appointment, he served as vice president and chief methodologist at the Berlin Institute, where he directed the statistical numbers group. Santos's career spans over 40 years in survey research, statistical design and analysis, and executive level management. He has held leadership positions in the nation's top surveyors and organizations, including the National Opinion Research Center at the University of Chicago, the Institute for Social Research at the University of Michigan, and Temple University's Institute for Survey Research. His research interests and experiences include quantitative and qualitative research designs, such as program evaluation, needs assessments, and survey methodology and operations. In addition, he has expertise in demographic and administrative data, decennial censuses, social policy research, and academic issues and research. Santos is a fellow and former president of the American Statistical Association, the ASA, and has served as an elected member of the Board of Scientific Counselors for the National Center of Health Statistics. He is a recipient of numerous awards, including the ASA Founders Award, the American Association of Public Opinion Research Award for Exceptionally Distinguished Achievement, and the Oakley Award from the Mexican government, which recognizes individuals who assist the country's citizens or promote its culture. He is also a recipient of the Excellence in Community Service Award from the Mexican American Legal Defense and Education Department. He has a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Trinity University of San Antonio and a master's degree statistics from the University of Michigan. Director Santos, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Sciences on this cause. Congratulations. Graduates, can you please stand? 
look at the audience and give your loved ones a round of applause. Because they've been doing that. Perfect. I'm not asking you to be perfect. You will make mistakes. 
And sometimes it's easy. But learn from those mistakes, correct them, and move forward. Confidence in the grows experience and training. And that's what the real world will ask you. The ability to be dedicated, the ability to display dependability and reliability, the ability to fulfill obligations. If you're being honest with yourself, you might not have loved every class you took, but that doesn't mean that you didn't learn something along the way. And guess what? You will probably apply that in the future. Remember me reminiscing about Harrison, Harrison Walton? I hate to get into that moment. I hate to come to this. Sorry, Matthews. But I push through. Because calculus is the study of how things are changing. And you can actually use it in the world. Whatever you do, wherever you work, when you leave here today, just be committed to it. The third C is composure. The ability to stay calm or focused under pressure. Realize how you react to an issue. What we see by those who are around you. Remember, you are an influencer. Your actions will influence those around you. You determine whether that effect will be positive or negative. Remain focused. Remind yourself that you win if you remain calm. Listen, interviews of others. My fraternity brothers and I would like to say, mind over matter, grace under pressure. You know what? We can all do a little more courtesy and grace to others. The first, the fourth quality of the moment is compassion. Life has a way of throwing us a curveball or two along the way. The people you work with may be going through some challenging times. You may be going through some yourself. Don't be afraid to be open. Remember to recognize that you are an imperfect group. And then to see that same grace to others. Reach out to others, respect others, again, listen. Doesn't cost anything to operate with the Lord. We're all human. Operating with compassion will require you to possess emotional intelligence. Keep your eyes and ears open to those who you. Be a mentor and teach others who you need. You won't agree with everyone you work with or meet, but always treat you with the respect. No one better exemplify confidence, commitment, composure, and compassion than NC State's own legendary basketball coach, Jim Godfather. He was committed to his family, his school, and of course, the Wolfpack basketball. I still remember him smiling and waving to us. For those who know, Reynolds Coliseum was where the ROTC is. He was born that back door, and he would pull up, and he was always ready. No matter how busy he was, he was always ready. And you know, he, had, he was an excellent head coach, and of course led us to the national championship in 1983 over the head of the field of Houston. He believed in his players, and they believed in him. Cardiac Pack. You guys can remember that. While many of us will remember this, you should see the whole story. It's actually a coach of one of those games you fight that gave me a little bit of insight into the truth. It's 1993, the don't ever give up speech on the essence was one of the most impactful speeches I have ever seen. He implored everyone to enjoy their lives and appreciate the precious moments that you have in the 
approach the evil as one stage, rather I see the answers. You would pass away, brother man. He had a positive attitude, literally, to the end of his life. We should all of our lives try to live up to the example of these sessions. So before I get off the stage, I want to speak directly to you about your life. NC State has given you some of the crisis and an incredible education. And no matter what happens in life, no one will ever, ever be able to take that away from you. And I know it wasn't easy, but you're here. The chaos surrounding the transition from student to professional can be challenging and stressful. Maybe it's easy to forget all of the that you have accomplished and what you have done is simply, truly amazing. So for some of you, Monday, you might face that new office. But it's not Monday. So today, you're that season star. Please take a minute every now and then to reflect what you have done to make that accomplishment. And again, don't forget those who helped you along the way. They are here for you. And today, I hope you take some time to celebrate that. Because tomorrow, it's time for you to go forward and make a positive difference in this world. For you, for me, for them. We are in the country that's known for its names, but it's also renowned for its extensive knowledge of science, sculpture, anatomy, architecture. We celebrate by engineers and scientists who live in Antarctica and join the things like steam power, solar power, armor, vehicles, flying ships, all years before humanity had a technology or the ability to build those systems. Was not on the main field of study, but there's a powerful quote from him where he deals with the application of knowledge. He calls it doing. He says, I've been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. I think that profound quote is relevant for all of us today. Class of 2023, knowing is not enough, you must apply. Being willing is not enough, you must do. It's time. It's time for you to apply what you've learned here at the great feet of Carolina State University. In closing, I wish you all continued success in whatever you do. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Be you. Own it. Be confident that you can and will conquer the many, many challenges that will come your way and commit to being that master of your craft. So, credit the reach for the moon, or why not aim for the heavens? Finally, like I said, except for the guys in the front row, you guys probably won't remember me. But if nothing else, remember the forces. Remember to operate with confidence, commitment, composure, and compassion. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. And then you look back and always remember where the sun winds so soft and low. Because I know that you will forever hope NC State and the fools love and love. God bless you and all those who protect our nation's freedoms every day. Go Pat!
experience the value of learning and understanding. We live in a time when science has never been so essential to the present and future, and yet it also so clearly understood as our modern society and the other background walls. We look to you to take your passions to lead the spirit of the world. Since I'm late, Dad, you still got it going on, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You still got it going on. Man. God bless you, man. You got that? No. Ooh. Ooh. I can have some. Take the rose down there. Mm -hmm. Is it sugar free? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whenever you get ready to put the label on. 